I'm Dr. Mahima Rahman, Ayurveda and CBD expert. So today's video will be exploring about the Ayurvedic perspective of emotional well-being. So as everybody is aware, Ayurveda is an ancient system of medicine that is originated in India. So it views health as a holistic concept, composing not only about your physical aspect, but also mental and emotional well-being is also considered in Ayurveda. So emotional well-being is considered to be prime and is closely connected with your physical uh, constitutions of the body that is your doshas and the agni, the digestive issue and the proper functioning of the mind that means your manas. So let's understand what are the basic concepts of uh, things which maintains your health. Like in your uh, physical body, uh, three doshas are the main uh, pillars for ba maintaining the health of a person its uh, balance keeps the healthy status of the condition and imbalance will create to disease and its issues so uh, three doshas are basically vata pitta and kapha in the body in the same aspect mind or manasika doshas are also explained in ayurveda they are also three in number that is sattva rajas and tamas in that basically sattva is considered to be one among the manasika guna and the other two are considered to be the manasika doshas where rajas and tamas uh, imbalances can basically cause uh, mind related issues which can indirectly affect the physical body as well. So maintaining a proper balance in your manasika prakriti with your uh, sharirika prakriti is, uh, is directly linked with your optimal health so what are the key aspects to have an emotional well-being so as i said the first and main thing is to maintain the uh, sattviga rajas and tamaguna so basically rajas and tamas are linked with the shanitika dosha such as pitta and kapha so uh, the any disease uh, when it is being termed in ayurveda the basic cause as i said is the visitation of the shanitika doshas that will vitiate the ama or produce ama in the body which we can link with inflammation which will be interconnected with your mind as well so this can affect the manasika doshas and uh, it can also happen vice versa so it's always very very important to keep both these doshas in the balanced state so now when we understand regarding uh, any kind of chronic diseases like cancer so cancer basically now it has been research suggesting that it's a psychosomatic disorder. As I said, um, manasika doshas which are basically sattva, rajas and tamas. In that sattva guna is considered to have uh, to keep your body in a healthy status and will prolong your lifespan. So uh, that's why more people advise to go for more of sattvika guna ahara. There is sattvika guna inducing uh, activities. There are sattvika guna imposing uh, routines in life which persons can uh, do it which will support your emotional well-being as well as help you to prevent many diseases and keep you in a uh, optimal health status. But when you consider for rajas and tamoguna, basically there are um, certain manasika bhavas which has been explained in our Ayurvedic classics such as bhaya, krota, laba, moha that means greedy. Uh, desires and then um, fear and worry stress so these are considered um, uh, as manasika bhavas which are the nidhana for causing this imbalance in the uh, uh, manasika dosha so these uh, these uh, points always should be on a precise mode that there are certain uh, principles said that bha these bhavas like being fearful being in stress uh, having greedy behavior, having excessive anger issue, excessive uh, uh, moha, moha means confusion, these can aggravate. These are something which we have to control and inbuild more of sattvika guna. If we are not inbuilding those sattvika guna, these rajasika and tamasika guna will increase because of the uh, normal prakriti of people who has these kind of behaviors adapted. That will vitiate the rajasika and tamasika guna. Indirectly will affect you to have a lot of manasika vyatis like anidrada that is sleeplessness. You will have depression. You will have uh, unmata, basmana, those kind of diseases. And they can also relate or affect certain diseases like um, chronic disorders like immune 
related disorders or even in that case cancer as well so keeping them and keeping your uh, manasika bhavas that is emotions also controlled is really really important you have to understand your unique constitution not only your bodily constitution but your mindly constitution and should take optimal uh, precautions to maintain these kind of symptoms not to happen for your body which will create imbalance in your vata pitta and kapha as well as manifest your emotional disturbances uh, and uh, uh, it is interlinked whenever you have an emotional disturbances your vata pitta kapha goes excess the vata will become more when you are fearful or anxious or you have anxiety pitta will go more if you are in an anger situation or irritable situation and your kapha will go more if you are lethargic and depression which can result due to the previously said disorders so maintaining that is really really important which can be done with few simple techniques like following more properly yoga techniques maintaining a good um, stress relief yoga meditations pranayama those kind of things which gives more of a, po- a positive impact as well as sattvic guna to your body and yes you have to involve a lot of sattvic guna food or diet in your uh, um dietary habits and sattvic guna routines and regimens such as getting up on a proper time sleeping on proper time doing your exercises regularly eating food properly eating food following all the instructions and their guidance from your um, ancestors or your uh, seniors and these are emotionally keeps you intact to maintain all these doshas and create your environment more for having a proper health yes next is one, most important thing is maintaining a digestive fire properly that is what we call as agni so your do- strong digestive fire is a good sign of a good health and it will have assimilate all of the nutrients and eliminate the waste product which are has been in the body so proper digestion is believed to contribute even to the mental activity as well to create more of emotional stability that's why we have observed when we are angry or fearful or sad or desperate uh, food also doesn't get properly digested which can create to lot of uh, chronic disorders chronic inflammations in the body if the undigested food uh, assimilates and circulates throughout the body which is considered ama in ayurveda which is considered as self induced poison or toxin which can create which is the main cause for almost all diseases so poor digestion on the other hand will always lead to accumulation of these toxins so as i said ama affects both your physical and mental health so agni or the digestive fire should also be maintained for your emotional disturbances or maintaining your emotion and yes maintaining a healthy lifestyle is also important so proper individualized diet based on your constitution proper seasonal regime proper uh, periodical regimes and periodical cleansing a lot of agro exercises adequate sleep stress management everything plays a crucial role in your emotional well-being which ayurveda suggests as dinacharya which is aligned with your natural rhythms in the body now uh, what we'll understand what is the connection between mind and body as i explained clearly what are the things but ayurveda mainly recognizes the intimate connection between your mind and your body so exactly if somebody ask us where is the mind located there is not an exact location for mind but it is a, it's thoroughly all over your body and it's an emotional build so any imbalance are seen as a reflection of disturbances in your mind and you have to practice good yoga good pranayama breath control etc to cultivate mental clarity reduce stress and enhance more of the emotional well being and mental stabilities and uh, yes on top of this there are a lot of herbs and ayurvedic therapies which are considered to be really good for maintaining emotional wellness in ayurveda so we have a lot of herbs like there are adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha bhrami eshtimadu kapi kachu so those kind of herbs which are generally good for the brain and there are um, a single herb uh, preparation there is multiple herbal prop- uh, polyherbal combinations which can be adopted after proper discussion with your uh, healthcare ayurvedic healthcare uh, physician and then you can take a decision to go about the herbs in same way there are external ayurvedic therapies which are really involved in keeping your emotional wellness as well in optimal state abhyanga simple technique massage oil massage which is really really good not only for your bodily factors but also for mental aspect because it's a touch it's a physical touch which keeps your body in uh, induce more of um, happy hormones in your body 
which can relieve your stress and help you to reduce the mental load also then there are specific treatment uh, localized towards your head region like shirodhara shirotarpana shirovasti so these are specific uh, therapies which involves the in your local head region with uh, different kinds of medical herbs paste decoction which which have more of um, herbal formulations and combinations for calming your mind and reducing the stress and improving more of the brain function or cognitive function inducing more of happy hormones in your body even panchakarma procedures can also be recommended uh, deep de detoxification not only address both physical as well as emotional imbalance can also be maintained always make sure that ayurveda focuses on individualized approach uh, so it is not a one size uh, fit for all approach it depends from your individual constitution the doctor will be analyzing your prakriti your physical i mean your sharika prakriti with that is your physical uh, constitution with your mental constitution and uh, the imbalances noting the imbalances down helping out with your specific needs so these are the ayurvedic views of emotional well being which is an integral part of overall health and uh, proper digestion adopting a suitable lifestyle and addressing the mind body connection through various holistic approaches is really necessary for managing any sorts of diseases thank you for watching the video we at zenonco is there always by your side for your cancer journey any cancer related query you can always enquire with our cancer coaches in the below given number thank you